Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Well, we're, uh, wait, we're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Forgot my line, sorry. Sorry. I was thinking about other things. Hi, T. Hi, honey. Did you take a nap? I did. You did? I did. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I talked to her about, what, five? And I said, go take yeah. a nap. I did. Well, do you feel better? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I could have yeah. stayed there. <laughs> I know, right? I didn't take a nap. I rested. I mean, I rested. I can't say I slept, slept. But, you know, I mean, on and off, in and out. I watched a lot of that. Yeah, I played with my phone. Yeah, I watched a lot of that. I, I've been watching a lot of that, you know, stuff that's going on over there with the Taliban. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank God you too. Yeah. So some of those uh, videos are so heart-wrenching and sad. My gosh. What are they going to do? Are they going to send the troops back over there? They almost have to, don't they? It's so unfair to every all of the military people that were there and it was peaceful and now they've got to go back to like basically another war zone. Or do we just not pay attention and just let them vent for themselves? I don't know that much about this kind of stuff to like really understand it. But is that country a country that like, do we, do we have to get involved with them? You know how there's certain countries that the U.S. like protects? Right. Is that one of those countries? Well, at this point, because we have people there, we have to do something, you know. Yeah, there's, would, there's no choice. I watched uh, one video that like even American people can't get out. Like American citizens are having a hard time. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Oh, really, Kim? Kim says they're uh, deploying troops from my station here at Fort Bragg. My brother my brother was in Fort Bragg in the um, 82nd Airborne Division. If I'm saying it right. Yeah, that was the 82nd Airborne Division out of Fort Bragg. Oh, Jules, thank you. I added some lights. I'm not 100% on it but it will do for now. Oh, it looks good. Do you like it? Yeah, I'm not 100%. I mean, you really can't see the lights, which actually is a good thing. Yeah. You can just see the light. Yeah. I really want I really want the lights to be like underneath the shelves, not like going around, but it's what I had for now. I found it in a mini storage. <laughs> you know me. I'm like a mini storage. Oh my gosh. Massimo, listen, to my defense, you guys, I was going to release this as a short, but it's on this phone, so I can't show you. Massimo even had a hard time cutting those Brinks locks off that case. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. I, don't I don't have to buy paper plates, paper napkins, paper cups, aluminum foil parchment paper for a very, very long time for the cottage. <laughs> That's all it was full of. It was full of kitchen stuff. So weird. So weird. Okay. Hi, you guys. We're going to say a quick hello to everybody. What are you, sorting ties there, T? Yes, ma'am. I forgot to bring them the other night, so I said I better grab the box and at least... I put a few in a pile. Hey, Elsie. Hi, Elsie. Let, let me pin this to the top. Hold on. Let me go over to my YouTube. There it is. Oh, put user in timeout. I almost clicked on the wrong thing, Schreiker. Who are you putting me in timeout? I was putting him in timeout. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I saw the P. It says either pin to the top or put user and timeout so i almost clicked on the wrong p they both started with the letter p yeah. it could have happened that's Just all right saved, saved myself we could have worked around it hey james cisco 
Gotta love eBay. Ebayers who buy an item, then message you to send to a different address. Oh um, yeah. Do you know the I, first thing that I relisted back on eBay that somebody was begging me for? She never got it. She just messaged me. I'm like, are you kidding? Ugh. I'm like, no, sorry. And they get annoyed that they have to repurchase after correcting their address. Yeah, it's, you can't do yeah, well, that. Well, then you're not protected. I never do that. I, 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 I did it like maybe way back when before I knew like better. And thank God I did nothing happen. Nothing came of it. But hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Well, just, then, just keep in mind, anytime you cancel a transaction, you're paying some of those eBay fees. eBay does not refund all your fees, just like PayPal ended up not refunding all your fees when you canceled a transaction and did a refund. eBay is doing the same thing. So if it's just a five or ten dollar item, I would just ship it to the other address and not worry about it. If it's a higher dollar item, I would cancel it and make them repurchase. But right, that's what James did. He canceled yeah. it and made them repurchase. You mean if if I put in there um, buyer requested cancellation and they say yes, you still lose your fee? Some of it, yeah. Really? Yeah. You knew you, you knew PayPal was doing that the last couple months, right? They kept all of their fees. Yeah, well, <laughs> because credit card credit card them. processing is what they're claiming. You know, they yeah. had to pay it one way or the other, so they're going to yeah, take it out of you. The thirty cents vintage yeah. memory says. Hi, Jim Bug. Hi, Jane. Frank. Yeah, but those thirty cents add up whenever you're canceling transactions every day. Right. And all your time and effort, and you know, it's it's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Cindy. Cindy, where have you been? Oh, my gosh, Cindy. You're so busy. It seems Aww. like it was yesterday that you sent me pictures of your daughters, and they were, like, so young. Issues. They're delivering at 34 weeks. Now they're, now they're having babies like crazy. Wow. Hey, Jules. Hi, Jules. Thank you, Linda. Well, I don't know about that either, Mary, because back in the days of money orders and all of that, that wasn't a lot of fun either. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It was nice. You got cash. I used to have guys from China send me cash in an envelope. Are you kidding? <laughs> there was always plenty of cash, but there were some bad money orders as well. Amer American money from China? Yes. When, when my dad um, basically gave me gave me all of his Zeiss lenses and camera parts and body parts way back when, that's all I used to get is envelopes full of cash. <laughs> that's so crazy, right? <laughs> but yeah, I remember the money orders too. And yeah. all the personal checks, you know, yeah. cash in an envelope, you know. Yeah. And bad checks, yes. Hey, Junk Trader. Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Junk Trader. There's Where another so face I haven't seen Penny forever. Penny Day. Where are you going, girl? Hey, Penny Day. Well, welcome in, Caleb. Welcome hey, in. Caleb. Welcome we in. Know? Everybody, welcome Caleb in. Susan, thank you so much for noticing hey, the Susan, light. Susan, I hope you had a nice birthday, girl. Greg, welcome in. Believable blessings. Look who we have in the chat. T's great resale finds while thrifting. Oh my God. Hi, T. It's T. T, <laughs> T meet T. Aw, thank you, Nicole. You guys are Aww. awesome. Vintage, Jim G, Amy. You hey, guys, Amy. if I didn't say, I, I kind of was going down the list um, when Susan, T and I hope when T and Schreiker were talking, I was just kind of going down the list and just uh, highlighting you. It's just a quick way to say hello and thank you so much Gina. for um, being here. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, everyone who's coming in. Appreciate Kim VZ needs a wrench when you get a moment. Kim will take care of that for you.
Let's see what Susan says. I had nasty results with buyers on his cancel, messed with my numbers. So on vacation, redoing inventory through weekend and taking pictures, video of all my shipments, even in Poshmark. My first return new with tags problem. Wow. Melissa, welcome in. Hi, Good Melissa, to see honey. you. Kim Veezy, hello, hello. Hey, Kim, we'll get your wrench reinstated, honey. <laughs> Let's see. Who needs a wrench? Who needs Kim, a wrench? Kim does. We, we, you know, we were playing around with you guys. For those of you coming in that might not have a wrench, it's only because we're double checking some uh, registrations and making sure everybody has the proper information filled out. We might need some of you to fill out a new registration. Janet will check you. I know you were registered before. We'll double check and make sure we have the correct uh, registration. Hi, Janet. Welcome in. Exactly, James. Don't cancel orders unless you get a proper email from the buyer to ask you to cancel. Oh, really? There's beautiful Joy Munkin. Hello, Hi, Joy. hello. And I saw Heather. Where's Heather? I saw Heather somewhere. Heather and MC. Hi, honey. I see you right under you. Joy. Hi, Heather. Hi, honey. I see Mia. Hi, Mia. Mina, I haven't seen you forever. Thanks for coming back. Hi, honey. Thanks it's for Sandra. being here. D, my sister with the same BD. What if you sold it on another platform? She must be talking to someone. It's the same. Thank you for asking. It's the same. But they had their first official volleyball game in college today, and they won. So they were really, really excited. They have um, a second one tomorrow. I'm I'm debating on whether or not to go. I still have so much to do, you guys. They, they play games. They play a lot of games. So it's at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So I, I might miss it. I don't know. Me too, Susan. It happens all the time. That's why we're doing inventory. No, I didn't. I, this the is, first this thing is, I said to her when I saw her, I was like, oh my God, your hair looks so beautiful. Um, it's called Hide the Grays before tomorrow when I have to do it for the shower. If you do, if you do it like that, you don't need to hide the grays. You That's look true. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. <laughs> nice and poofy. Nice and full. He is like, I had to reduce my, my death pile. Thanks, D. Thanks, Ozma. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, D. Scott. Welcome in. Oh, thank you, Junk Trader. Yeah, a little bit nerve-wracking, but I'm going to stay calm. Hi, Sandra. Listing sports cards tonight until an early tonight until an early bedtime. T's fault <laughs> that I have so many cards. Trying to reduce my auction wins, but too bust with these problems. See, Joy even says your hair looks Thank great. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, guys. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys. So if there's anybody watching in the background and they'd like to join us, we are a friendly crowd. You can introduce yourself, say hello. You can send us a registration. It doesn't cost anything to register. It's pinned Thanks, at the top. Let us know if you do register so we can check it and make sure everything is on there. Please make sure you include your city, state, zip code, and phone number. Um, phone number is really important. Like today I had a little problem and I wanted to call the person. I mean, the person texted me right away and said, and said that they were at work and they couldn't talk. But, you know, it's nice to be able to just call if when you have a question. So we worked it out via text messaging, which to me is easier than emailing back and forth. So <clears throat> Susan Arrington says she loves your style. Thank you, Susan. Asma, I'd love to do that, Asma, because I've been coloring my hair since I'm 25, too. I don't just don't know if I could live through the whole change. I'd probably have to have it dyed silver to get there. <laughs> yeah, one of my friends had it done. It it was unbelievable. She like 
documented like the whole the all the steps at the hairdresser the hairdresser first bleached out her hair removed all the hair color i'm sure and, this is a very exciting topic for you shriker sorry <laughs> and then and then they I'll, dyed, I'll, I'll just watch the chat don't worry okay and then they dyed her hair like a, a light silver gray <coughs> and then they put like darker gray like not highlights low lights i guess you could call it so it was like salt and pepper so when her hair her natural hair came in it would match the color that they they colored her hair but it's it's a it's, it was a lot of work yeah Ozma said two years two years it took her to grow it out to do it yeah and her hairdresser would not bleach it Oh, really? Yeah, they and they it's a big process, right? Heather knows she's a hairdresser and they cut a ton of hair off of her. And I mean, as beautiful as it looks on her, it really does look beautiful. It's aged her like 15 years. Really? Yeah, that's I mean, what I'm afraid if of. You too. Look at her face. Her face is still really pretty. But when you look at her hair, it's not like like Thelma Thrift. She, she wears it so well. Yeah. yeah. Her yeah. Her white is absolutely beautiful. She actually did it the old fashioned way and she documented it on YouTube. And I oh, actually did she all have to go watch it? I, I didn't know that. It. Oh okay. yeah, it's, it's way buried, you know, in her videos, but it's there. And she she documented it, and she you know she had the skunk thing going on for a long time, right. long time. So I just want to address Caleb in the chat. Caleb, you don't need a PayPal. No worries, you can pay any way you like. So fill out that form. If you don't have a PayPal email address, that's fine. We'll send you an invoice through email, and you can pay it however you want. Yes. And first time, hey hot mess thrifter, welcome in. Hey, um, Amy. First time buyers, you guys, we do require immediate, immediate payment. Bid. So we do bid in $2 increments. Everything is, most of our lots start at $30. Sometimes we do lots that are less than $30, but we um, will offer a shipping cost on that item. $30 or more, we pay the shipping. Um, free shipping. We pay the shipping. We pay the taxes. We pay the fees. You just pay whatever you bid on it. Um, Two dollar increments up to fifty, and then we go to five dollar increments. And if it gets to a hundred, we go to ten dollar increments. That is a thirty dollar purchase by either me or T. T is in uh, New York City right now, uh, spending time with family. However, she is from New York City. <laughs> Long Island. She's in Long Island. I call it New York City. It's like the same. No, and it's not. I'm like uh, your tongue, girl. <laughs> well, you're still New York. Is your address still New York, New York? No. No. New York, no, New York. Massapequa Park, New York. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, sorry. She's in Massapequa. And I'm in uh, the Palm Beaches of Florida. So we're in two, two separate locations. This is Schreiker. He's our moderator. Um, you will have a, a wrench. Um, did you happen to check Kim to make sure we had all of Kim's information? Yes, Kim. I think we re-wrenched on my channel last night or the night before. Okay. Um, how come it's saying, let's see. Hey, Greetings, Spork. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I have to. I know, Susan. I woke up to a ding, ding, emergency, whatever that alert is. Yeah, hurricane warning. Hey, KF, welcome in. Um, I leave South Carolina, come back to Long Island, and we're getting a hurricane here. <laughs> really? Okay. Hey, KJ. Hey we have all of Caleb's information. Uh, yeah, I had to add the state and zip for him. Okay, thank, thank you, you for being on And hey, KJ, um, Donna T just got out of a very late shower. <laughs> <laughs> 
this man's he's gonna be waterlogged <laughs> he's like all he does is take showers every time i see him just got out of the shower he must spend a lot of time in there <laughs> right all right you guys so i have some uh really awesome harley davidson motorcycles um, hey, most, Heather. Of them, most of them are branded harley davidson and i do have some harley davidson shirts I'm going to do some one-offs tonight to give people the opportunity to buy for either gift giving or for personal use. Um, but I also do have some lots built and I'm sure T has awesome stuff because she just bought a huge storage unit full of incredible things. So what is that? Department 56. Awesome. Everybody loves that. Why don't you put your second camera on T and, and why don't you start? Okay. <laughs> do you want me to start? Yes. Yeah. That... You do? Well, I didn't even plug it in because you guys can't hear me when I plug it in. All right. I'll go. I'll go first. Yeah. Okay. Which one should I grab? I'm going to be doing some Star Wars stuff too. Uh, let's go for this one. 100% hot. This is a Hot Wheel. Harley Davidson. It's dusty. Let me get my little wipies here. I didn't um I didn't dust any of them, you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't I just stuck them on the shelf. I had a day. I usually do. But um you know, all all you need is just a quick little you know, wipey. And there you have it. Um Okay, what do you want to start? I have no idea the value of this. I haven't looked any of them up. What do you want to start the, the uh, what do you want to start the bidding at? What do you think? We'll start it at 20. Why is Frank keep saying Donna no chickens? What'd you say? Why does Frank keep singing Donna no chickens? I have no idea. I don't know. I have no Hi, idea. Hi, Frank. <laughs> it is a Dyna Wide Glider. Is that the name of the motorcycle? Okay. <clears throat> So let's add, because I can ship these in the same box. Sorry for the dust. I'm like doing housekeeping. Let's add this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, no chickens. I'm going to add that one. I'm going to add this one. Hey Thelma, welcome in. And I'm going to add this one. And Joy Munkin comes in at 20. And I'm also going to give 
Miss Joy Munkin if she wins this official Harley Davidson size medium. It's a three quarter length 1903-2003 Harley Davidson t-shirt. Well, it's like three quarter length sleeve shirt. On that. And how about this cute little keychain? I robbed a Harley Davidson person, you guys. So you get one, two, three motorcycles, a shirt, and a keychain in this lot. Is the large model purple or black? Black. It's black. And the shirt was a size medium? Yes. I'm going to add these two. Look at this. The CD is in the shape of an engine. How cool is that? I've never seen anything like that. I guess you can play it, right? So you get three of them. You're going to get one. Two, and three. This one doesn't have the, the front case on it. What else is on the gas tank on the large one, Donna? It says Harley Davidson. Is it purple? It is purple. It is purple. Sorry. Thought it was black. It's a purple one. It's pretty. Oklahoma Highway Patrol. Oklahoma Highway Patrol on this one. I can't read that one. Let's see if it says anything. Not really. And this one looks like it says Harley Davidson. Is that the same as the big one that's in the box? No, it's different. This one's purple also. Right? Look at how small that little tiny jacket is. It's so cute though. Little leather jacket keychain. I wonder if it's Harley Davidson. There's a Harley Davidson tag on it somewhere. I don't see one. I don't see a tag on it. All right. Junebug is out. Who do we have left? Just Joy? I think so. I think Cool Ranch is out as well. 
Nice steal, Miss Joy. Fair warning, I gotta get a bucket. T, you got your second camera set up? <laughs> no? Are you shaking your head no? Congratulations, Joy. $55. Harley Lot. What did you say? I said, uh... Hey, Spalsden. Welcome in. Hello, Nicole. Welcome in, honey. Just give me one minute. Oh, bees everywhere. Oh, God. Thank goodness my daughter loves to the first thing my daughter does when she comes here is she sweeps she's so funny okay let me just put joy's name on this I'll just take a minute to do that Okay, this is going to be my next one. This is going to be a $30 start. Hey, Julie's heart. How are you, honey? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Okay, so let me just clean this up a little bit. I hope you're doing okay, honey. Paula Rossetti, welcome in. Okay, I'm just going to give this a quick wipe because it is very, very dusty. And this is what I have. I'm going to show you how big this is by um, measuring it. It's a number three Electroglide Harley, adult collectible. It's a GI Joe one. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? Let me get the tape measure. $30 scout on this one. And it is, the box is 17 inches long by 12 inches high. And I'm just, just to give you an idea and a perspective of the size of it, let me put myself on camera and show you. This is how big this is. It's really a big piece. Taking 12 hours at a time, good for you, honey. Um, with the GI Joe. Metropolitan Police? No way. Metropolitan Police was in uh, Massachusetts, but I think they closed that division of the um, of the police. So it's in really good condition, except for just a little bit of folding right here on the box. Um, but otherwise, it's uh, it's good. It came from a collector, so they kept it on a shelf, very dusty. <laughs> so I'm going to put it back on the table now that you see how big it is. And I'll just let you guys go ahead and, oh, where's my camera? Oh, here it is. Sorry. Go ahead and wrench uh, Paula if you would. 
Okay. Um, wrench. Hi, Pam. Thanks for coming in, honey. Um, Paula Rossetti. Thank you so much. How do the how do the corners look on it? The corners, they're um. Well, here I'll show you. There's that corner. This is where the little bit of boo boo is on the plastic. There's the other corner. There's the other corner. I mean, I would say that they're good. I mean, it's not perfect. But I would say it's in good condition. KJ's at 35. Oh, no, wait a minute. I need to move my chat. Beaver's at 55. Hey, Beaver. Welcome in, sweetheart. I mean, it's definitely never been taken out of the box. Can you find a year on it? Um, sure. Two thousand and one. Two thousand and one. Vintage. It's twenty years old, right? Makes it vintage. Doesn't seem like 2001 would be vintage, but what are you going to do? Two thousand and one to me feels like it was like two years ago. <laughs> right, Jenny, me, you, I'm with you, babe. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at. We've got Beaver at 55, and we're waiting for either KJ to bid or say out. And who else? Did they already say out? And Junebug. You guys give us an out. If you're done bidding, please. June is out. We only do 20. Don't tell no one. I don't know what that means. Thank you, Junebug. KJ, what about you, honey? Are you out? KJ's out. Hi, Kimberly. Hello, hello. All right, we're calling it down to Beaver. Four fifty five. Well, number two fifty five. All right, Beaver. And it's going. Can I buy fried Marley? Are you speaking in code tonight, Beaver? I don't understand what you're saying. The uh, mask you had last night. What was it? The mask. What mask? 
or the wall hanging, whatever you want to call it. Oh, the that first, um, the first lot. Yesterday. Yes. Oh, the wooden one. Yes. Yeah, she's asking if you'll throw that in for twenty now that she bought something for shipping purposes. This scary looking guy. The protector. <laughs> yes, Beaver. Absolutely. I can ship those together for you. I actually would be scared to ship those together. Well, maybe not. I can I can use the one inch bubble. Yes, I can do them together. So I'm gonna put the mask down as lot number three, okay? Trigger. Okay, got it. Twenty dollars. Yes, that would be awesome, Beaver. Oh gosh, who knows? Who knows, KJ? I don't. I don't know that stuff. Okay, so this is this is my last big one, and then I just have a few small ones left. I don't want to disappoint people and say it's a Harley show. And then I have some t-shirts that I'll bring after t-shows. So this one is $30. Oh, this one's a telephone, you guys. Look at that. This is a 2003 Fat Boy. It's a telephone. It's a Harley Davidson telephone. Tone, pulse, working light, ringer on, off, last number, redial. It's brand new. It's never been taken out of the box. Awesome for a man cave or anybody who loves Harley Davidson. Two piece replica of Harley Davidson Fat Boy. Headlight flashes when phone rings. Tone and pulse. Last number redial. Ring on, ring off switch. Hearing and completely FCC and ETL approved, whatever all that means. Um, let me see. Let me see if it is. Um, it's silver. It's silver in there. You see it? Cherie, Cherie lost her le her lens, her um, her wrench. We need to check uh, Cherie's um, registration. And this is how big it is. Uh, we have I, everything but a phone number. I I everything but a phone number. Yes. Okay, Cherie, if you don't mind filling out a new registration, honey, we're trying to update everybody's registration we will take your bid but if you could uh you after you're done bidding if you could please um fill out the registration that would be great i've been here forever i know sheree i know but we went through the registration list and we're requesting people's phone numbers in case we have a problem on the list all the same okay thank you sheree 37 to amy uh, Caleb came in first. Oh, sorry. I'll let you call it. You're fine. <clears throat> KJ Jules, Donna always. I never. I'm so slow to getting jokes, you guys. Honestly, I am. I'm so slow. I've always been like that. Beaver, I can't look at my phone, honey. I'm using it as my second camera, so I can't look at it. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on. Hey, Bonnie. Welcome in. Hard to see it with all the lights flashing in the back. Um, but let's see. It, it's this one that's checked off. If that helps anybody. Diamond Ice. Model number 02648 is the one. Oh, I believe that you sent it, Beaver. 100%. No doubt in my mind. I 
right. Let's see. Who do we have? Amy at 40. Anybody else? Let us know if you're in or out, and we'll call it. Carly phone. Cherie's at 45. Caleb is out. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you very much. Amy is out. So it's going to Amy Dorito. Uh, Cherie, actually. Oh, Cherie. Cherie, Cherie. Going once, going twice, and we are sold, sold, sold to Cherie Timmons for $45. Lot number four. Thank you, Cherie. Okay, do you want me to put you on? Yeah, whatever you like. Then. Did she say yes? Yes, I'm yes. sorry, my camera, don't forget. Okay, okay. here you go. Here's to you guys. This is a gold one, SmackDown Live 20th Anniversary, The Rock, Jeff Spicoli, George, Lizzie, and Ralph. Bob Wiley, The Lost Boys, and Tommy Boy. And also in this lot, I'm going to throw these two sealed in package Angry Birds. One is Leonard. And one is Chuck. And I don't know, this reminded me, I think he's a Lego, but he reminded me of a pop. And it's just a container of Robin. <laughs> just an empty. Okay, Cherie. But it was in here, so I said, ah, throw it in. <laughs> you can't see it back there. Oh, and you know what? This, this is a carded thing of Beavis and Butthead. I don't know, but... Reminds me of cartoony stuff too, so we'll put that in there. Hey, Julie. Hi, Julie, honey. I hope you're good. Sorry to hear about Jim. Send him my prayers and love. Uh, Gina, we'll take your bid, but you need to refill the registration and add your phone number, please. Thank you, everyone, for being here. 80 of you here tonight. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yes, um, yes, Bob Wiley, yes. Hi, Janine. Welcome in. Gina, thank you for coming in. Hey, Janine. Hi, honey.
one's just a big FLIR card. All right, thank you guys. We're gonna call it to uh, Joy for 16. Thanks, Jules. You too, honey. Carl Bach, what's up? Thank you, Gina. Appreciate it, honey. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Hope all is well. <laughs> all right, Carl. Thank you, Joy. <clears throat> Thank you so much. <clears throat> All right. Nineteen seventy eight Marvel Super Special Battlestar Galactica. We're going to call this a seventies lot. Seventies lot. And we're going to include issues three, actually issues two, three. Well, that's two also. Just not sure. It's the same cover, but one doesn't have a barcode and one does. So you guys know better than me. Issue three, issue five, and issue seven. All right, and then also from the 70s, I have these wax packs. I'll count them if you guys want. Grease stickers. This is a empty box of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band cards. Here's Three's Company, 1978. Rocky II, 1979. Oh, 
19th, July 1976, Mad Magazine. Loved Mad Magazines growing up. Yeah. Put it over here. Thanks, T. Now I'm cheating on this one because it's really 1980. <laughs> Matchbox, Star Trek, the motion picture, Klingon. Is that a model? Box is open, but bag is not. I don't know that they sealed the bags, to be honest with you, way back in the day anyway. They, they probably got, didn't. I think they all got plastic. Hello, Lindsay Ann. Where have you been, girly? We miss you. Hey, Kyle T. Hey, Lindsay. Mr. Taranzio, I didn't see you come in. Hello, hello. Kind of hard to put it all in the, in the, in the photo. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this. I'm just so out of my element. Let's see. If you guys want to see anything again, I'll just. Oh, and I said I would give you an idea of the count in these wax, empty wax packs. You've got Carl at 34. Twenty-seven on the Three's Company wax packs. Hey, Greens. Welcome in. I'm going to say 30 plus on the grease is a lot here. It's at least 30. Kyle T is at 38. All right, and then on the Rocky Two, Carl Bach. Carl, are you supposed to be bidding? I'm joking. Please, I'm Carl, bid. bid. <laughs> I need a business gift certificate. I'm joking. We're happy that we're that you're bidding. <laughs> All right, and then again the Matchbox Star Trek Klingon. The two issue twos, kind of two, a little slightly different, 1979, number three, 1979, number five, number seven. Thank you, Julie. And then the Marvel Super, Super Special in full color. 1978. Mr. Buys a lot. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat, you crazy, crazy person. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he drove to Atlanta. No, he flew. He flew. Oh, he flew. And what's he going to do? Rent a truck and bring it back? No, I think he's just going to rent the unit. I'm not sure. He was supposed to let me know. Oh my gosh, Brian. 
Tell us, inquiring minds want to know. Who's Ozma saying hi to? Who's Richard Hatch? Ozma? Somebody from Battlestar Galactica, maybe? Are you in the wrong chat? <laughs> Ozma? <laughs> oh, Ozma. He's in BSG. Battlestar Galactica. Osma is like a dictionary or encyclopedia. She's like an encyclopedia. Oh, awesome. At least you can do that. Holy cow. It's a 10 by 30. Oh, yeah. Fully loaded. I'm going to rent the unit for a month. Oh, my God. Carl wants to know if you have any more wax packs. Um, not tonight, Carl. I don't believe I have any more wax packs here. Um, they're still at the storage unit. I only just grabbed, you know, like... A little bit of this and that to kind of bring some variety. Um, the only thing I will maybe have is some collapsible actual boxes. But I don't think I have any wax packs left. I mean, I do. I Believe me, I have boxes and boxes of them, just not here. All right. Hey, Carl. KJ. Thank you, KJ. Thank you, Carl. They are. They're going well. Just really busy. Yeah, Brian, you're going to own stuff in each state? Why don't you come on down to Florida and we'll buy a storage unit together? You're halfway here anyways. I'm only five hours away. Jump in a car. Get a rent a car. Do you want to start this at thirty? Um Yeah, there'll be enough in here. There'll plenty there'll be plenty in here. Just kind of hard to show them like this, but. Brian, Brian I'm going to send you um, my other phone number to send them to because I'm using that phone as a, um, as a camera. I think what I'll do is. Um, you know what? Let's. Let's do it this way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this way you guys know exactly what everything is first. All right. Holiday Traditions Hallmarks by MMG. And then I'll lay them out. I think that'll be easier. It's not easy to do this. But... Always, June. Carl wants to know if that was the Grinch on one of them. I wasn't looking. Holidays. Yes. Yes. A lot of Taz, a lot of Grinch. It's all Christmas. Just as so everybody knows, I believe it's all Christmas. Oh, they're all Christmas? The Florida cool. on its way, guys. Yes. This is the Grinch, if that was the one you were asking about. This one is Dr. Seuss. I don't do chimneys, says Taz. Looney Tunes, 96, USA.
How many total, T? Um, I didn't count them yet. I will, I promise. The Save the Children collection. Oh my God, Brian. Holy crap. Hold on, I'll put myself on screen. You're all blurry anyways. Try to try to adjust your camera. Better? No. Nope, it's blurry. I think it might be focusing. It's it's I think it's confused where it's going to focus. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yep, that's good. <gasps> These are awesome. Oh, that's great. Looney Tunes, 93. That's golf. Snoopy. Snoop, snoop, snoopy. Oh, my God. more a little more reserved this one this is called holiday traditions hallmark by mmg sheree you're you're buffering bad it must be your internet i don't i don't think we're buffering on this end try going out and coming back in maybe is anybody else buffering This is a Brooks Brothers silk made in the USA. I'll show you guys the picture in a minute when he's done showing. Cherie, it's um, pinned at the very top. The registration. Just click on it and it will take you right to it and you can fill it, fill it back out again with your phone number, please. Italian silk. It's a bunch of toys and elves. Oh, it's Family Guy with lights. It's RM style. There's a lot of ties there, guys. Who's going to throw the first bid in for $30? I'll pull them, no problem. Barfield. Pause addiction. Pam Henry is. $30 from Pam Henry. Thank you, Pam. Hey, Pam. Hi, honey. Bugs and Taz. Looney Tunes. It's Tweety Bird and Tess and Bugs and Daffy and it's when, Looney Tunes. When we lived in Boston, I used to take the kids to a pediatrician and he always wore character ties. Always. Yeah. Hey, Craig Wolf. How are you feeling? Winnie Good to see the you. Pool. Hey, Craig. Pooh. Disney. Janine asks, does anyone in the chat live in or near Henderson, North Carolina? Uh, Craig comes in at 32. I might. I'm not sure. Google Little River and tell me what the mileage difference is. Mm 
Mickey Mouse, and Pluto. Pam's at 34. D. Hewitt says, nice collection of Christmas ties. There's another Mickey. Uncle Scrooge. It's Uncle Scrooge. Good evening, Mr. Turtle Trader. Kim says she's three hours away from there. Christine O'Brien. Hello, hello. 36, Hi, Christine, Christine O'Brien. This is a tremendous lot. There's going to be at least 35, 40 ties in this lot. Pam Henry's at 38. Oh no, Craig, you twisted your back. We need the poo. Of course. Craig comes in at 40, but we have Christine at 40. But Shapa Holly comes in at 44. Out. Silk by Wembley with Santa's. Mimi Resells comes in at 50. Thank you, guys. Craig comes in at 55. This looks more like a New Year's tie with a bunch of kind of Although it's red, it's like a bunch of New Year's. Uh... Carl says, nice lot, T. Thank you. And Shopaholly is out. James Cisco says, no tags, T. No, I didn't see any tags, James. Oh, we knew with tags? No, I showed what you mean the tags on the back or that they're new with tags? Oh, he probably means um, new with tags. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think any of them are new with tags, to be because honest with you. Although some of them I... They're in excellent condition if they've even been worn. I almost feel like, well, maybe maybe they wore them for a holiday if they wore them at all, or who knows? Who knows? But I'll get one more, and then I'll show you what, how many I'll count them. Oh, Carl was asking if they were new. I mean, certainly don't look like I see any stains or any nonsense going on. Thank um, you, Cherie. Cape Cod neckwear on this one. Yeah, like this one feels crisp. Like, I don't know. Did they wear it? I guess they could have like put it on for an hour at a Christmas party and never wore it again. I guess that's a possibility, right? All right. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You've got Mimi at 60 as a high bed. 14, 15. Jenea, I was 16, thinking about you today. I was 17. Call you. Oh my God, I saw the picture of 18, your son. First day of school, he let all his hair grow out. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I miss chatting with you, Janae. We need to catch up, girl. How many was there? 26. Oh, my God. I thought there was so many more.
Yes, Craig, I can show some DVDs tonight. I have some here on the shelf. Pam Henry comes in at 65. Christine O'Brien says out. Thank you, Christine. Oh, he did cut his hair, Julian. It was so long. Massimo cut his hair, too. Carl Bach comes in at 75. Helen York, welcome in. Kim Henry's out. You can wrench, Helen. Thank you, Helen. Helen, you're good, hon. We got it. <laughs> Janaya. He helped me all day today, actually, Massimo. And he's helping me again tomorrow. Carl is at 85. All right, thank you guys. It's a really great lot, T. Thanks. Your Beavers units at 90. Janaea says, hi, T. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Janaea, honey. Yeah, D, everything's fine. It's just noisy here, so I've been on mute a lot of the time. It's Friday night, you know. <laughs> yeah, remember how it used to be at my house on Friday nights? Oh, look at D worrying about Shriker. It's Friday night and I ain't got nobody. This, I think, was a Brooks Brothers. Yeah. I like this. This one's one of my favorites. I don't do chimneys. <laughs> what does it say? I don't do chimneys. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. We're at fair warning. All right. Ozma. I know, I know. I sing horrible. T's the singer. T sings really good. Sold, sold, sold to Beaver for $90. Thank you, Shay. That's my three, Donna. Okay. I'm going to put myself on and I'm going to show you what... Uh, how crazy Mr. Buys a lot is. So this is where it starts, right? Just a popcorn machine. No big deal, right? Just a little popcorn machine. And then, eh, you know, a little bit of wrapped something or other frames or mirrors or something. Bam! Holy cow. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God bicycle he's crazy 
That's a lot of big stuff. It's a lot of big Yeah, those wrap tables are probably marble. Wow. I can't believe someone let this go to uh, foreclosure. There was three units all with the same owner. Three of them. And they went for all went for almost six figures. Well, they went for six figures combined, but no, I'm sorry, five figures combined. I mean, I can't for some reason this picture won't let me open it open it up to expand it, but it goes way, way, way back, you guys. It's it's thirty, I think he said thirty by look at how far back it goes. It's crazy. Holy cow. Wow. That's crazy, crazy. Okay. I know, right? He's crazy that Mr. Buys a lot. Okay. So let's do, how about we do this Harley Davidson um, t-shirt? And it is a size medium it doesn't say whether it's i'm just going to hold it up on the screen i'm going to start it at ten dollars it doesn't say whether or not it's uh, men's or women's and the back of it says boswell's honky tonk harley davidson nashville music city tennessee usa and it's a size medium it's a ten dollar start it doesn't feel like it's ever been washed feels like it's brand new with the eagle on it. It's awesome. $10. LC comes in for 10. All right, if there's no other interest, we'll close it to Elsie. Ronnie. Oh, really? It's where she used to live. All right, it's going to Elsie. Going once, going twice. Okay, we're sold, 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 sold. That is my lot number five. All right. Let's do this. Oh, this is, um, okay. So this one has a broken handlebar. Oh, maybe it's not broken. Maybe it just pops right in. No, it's broken. You're going to have to super glue it. You can see the handlebar. Here it is. I thought it popped right in, but it is a telephone. Hello? So I guess kind of like the one that I sold that was in the box, but without the box and the broken handlebar. So let's, let's start this at 20, $20 for the telephone. Just buyer beware. You need to use a little super glue and reattach the, um, the um, 
the handlebar. But when you pick up the when you pick up the phone, it does the handlebars don't move, so it's not like it's going to get a lot of motion. <laughs> Beaver, please don't. Please don't. I get enough of those calls on the other phone. LC's at 20. If there's no other interest. We'll close it at 20. All right. Uh, let's put that there. And let's do this one. I'm going to sell all the Harley tonight, you guys. I'll do some other stuff, but I'm going to just blow out all this Harley. Oops, Beaver's unit came in at 25. Sorry, Elsie. Um, I could go buy some super glue. If you want me to send it to you? <laughs> It's right there. <laughs> I've already put it up on the shelf. Elsie comes in at 30. Sorry. Thought we were done. Beavers at 35. Why is Ronnie saying sorry, Mr. Schreiker? Uh, she didn't know we had a bid to start with. She thought um, you were just putting it away. Yes, Lindsay, and I have lots of Star Wars. I've been selling Star Wars like crazy. Hello, Ronnie G. Hi, Jabby. Hi, Jabby. Thanks for coming in. All right, is Elsie out? It's going to my beaver. I don't know if she wants to be called that. For a while there, she was saying that she didn't want to be called by her name. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what's right. I'm just trying to follow directions, you guys. Life is complicated enough without, without that. <laughs> I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Beaver Shay. <laughs> I don't know. I know it does, but that's the name she chose, Ronnie. So what am I, who am I to judge, right? Okay. This is your next, it's an American chopper. What's that say? Comanche? Yes, Comanche. Comanche. It's a Discovery Channel. American chopper. I guess it's it's not a Harley, or is it? Uh, probably not. Orange County. Hello, Anthony. Where you want to start at? Hi, Anthony. Uh, why don't you start? Murray's on board. Who is? Evening, Murray. Why don't we start it at 20?
Uh oh, what's the matter, Shay? What's the matter, Beaver? Can somebody tell me the name of that town again in South Carolina? I think Janine, who was asking about that? I don't know. Andersonville. Okay, Cherie, thank you. Okay, so let's do combined. We'll do that one since there's no interest in just that one. We'll do that one and we will do these two. Sorry about the dust. Are you going to keep it at 20? Yeah, oh, no. it's about four and a half hours from me, a little too far. Thirty thirty dollars start. Thirty dollars start. And then this one. It's okay. <laughs> Janine, I've been called worse. It's all good. <laughs> And whoops. Evil Lenny, what's up? Hi, Evil Lenny. Where have you been? And then this one. And that's the whole lot. One, two, three, and four. Four pieces. Thank you, Sandra. T, Janine wants to know if you got her text earlier. Um, I'll have to look, Janine. I don't, I don't think so. Let me look. All right, we're going once to Cherie for thirty-five. Can you hear me swallow? Fair warning. Sold, sold, sold to Cherie. Thank you, Cherie. For 35. And she got the Harley phone, too. So that's good. We can ship them all together, honey. All right, T, you're up. T, 
teeth. Do you want me to go again? I'm going to take that as a yes. Okay, let's see. I have one, two, really three left. And that is it with my models. So this is what I have. I have this one. Let's see if it's still. No. Harley Davidson. Uh. This is going to be a $30 start, and it's going to have one, two, three pieces in it. Okay, so it's this one. It's this one. Were the batteries dead on that first one? No. Yeah, dead. Looks like somebody mounted this on a wood block. Debbie. You get that one, and then you get this one. And that's the lot. One, two, and three. Elsie comes in at 30. Cherie comes in at 35. Elsie comes in at 40. Why are you leaving, Shady? It's Friday night. Stay and hang out with us, honey. Asma, I was just going to sing that song again, but I'm not going to. I'm going to spare you. Elsie comes in at 40. What are you singing? This one is a soft tail. I know, Ronnie. It's okay, honey. Looking to see if there was a year on it, but I don't see a year. Sheree's 
Cherie comes in at 45. Thank you, Cherie. I don't see a year anywhere on it. Not on that one anyways. Let's see on this one. 2003. Did T get knocked off? Who's? T. Oh, yeah, she did. I was trying to answer you and you weren't hearing me. I'm like, what's going on? And I realized it was, wasn't in this stream. Uh, I was wondering why you weren't answering me. I'm like, all right, well. I'm I was gonna... still back here, but it was like I got knocked out of the stream. It was like uh, I was on I was the like, silent. Okay, well, I, I, I didn't even look to see that you were there. <laughs> hey, Bobo Buddies. I didn't even look to see if you were there or not. I was just, I was busy <laughs> writing down my notes and, Getting my stuff together. And when you didn't answer, I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to take that as a no. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. <laughs> so right. Dominic just put up the stream. Guys, I need your help, guys. Wednesday night, 9 p.m., prime time treasure. Come in and support your tea. Yes, Again. everybody. We need to go over there. Please. Absolutely. Need all the votes I can get against Mike pirate <laughs> yeah she's going up against pirate pirate who mike Star Junction pirate mike yeah i know that was <laughs> oh you busted my chops <laughs> is there, are there any door prizes Cherie, thank you so much. That will, This is going to be a nice, easy ship for me. They will come uh, USPS, though. Not No. I yeah, wish there U was a way no, I could do it. UPS, not USPS. Sorry. They'll come UPS. Are you ready, honey? Yeah, Kyle. Like, 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 um, never mind. We won't go there. Am I putting you on? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. There you go. No. Oh, my other camera's not up. I'm like, <laughs> that's why I was asking. I'm like, she must Sorry. be holding something up. Oh, because I had to unplug it because you guys can't. That's why I thought you couldn't hear me. And then you still couldn't hear me. I was like. Yeah, I wish there was a way that I could like say, okay, everybody who shows up, you'll be entered into a raffle. But <gasps> what are I you doing? I I could do that. Like everybody who shows up at Dominic's Wednesday night, Thursday night, I could do a giveaway for everybody who showed up. How are you going to, how, who's going to keep track of who's showing up? I guess I just would have to use his stream and it would just be our people because we won't tell any of, we won't tell anybody about it as, except on our as channel. As, as long as everybody said hello in the chat, I can make a list. Oh God, Shriker, that's a lot to ask. That's of a you. lot, Shriker. <laughs> All right, we're gonna really? do some um, radio, TV, vintage music magazines. Hey KK, let's give them a code word. Let's give yeah. them a code word so it will be easy to determine if they're, uh, you know, if they came over from. You know, if they want to, if they want to do a code word, let's think of a code word. T for the win. No, because well, you could. <laughs> <laughs> you could. You could just say they could just write go T. Yep. They could say go T. Hi is the code word. Hi, Boatman, Boatman. T for two. Uh, Mr. Turtle tea. Trader, I'm sweet in uh, Long Island right now, honey. Sweet tea, sweet tea, you guys. Sweet tea is the code word. You have to write the word sweet, what code word, Bolo Buddies. <laughs> no, code word T. Code word is sweet tea. And then we'll, that will help determine, and you, you're going to have to do it the old fashioned way, the way we used to do it way, way a long time ago and, and write down all the names and put them in a box or a hat and pull it. It's going to take yeah, time. So Brian's at my house right now and I'm at my house on Long Island and Brian is not buying the house. It fell through today. 
Oh, shit, Brian. No way. Oh, my God. Oh, if everyone wrote hi, Shriker, he will see the highlighted comments easier. Susan, you're so smart, Susan. Susan! Go, Susan. Go, Susan. Go, Susan. <laughs> That's true. It's true. You notice how I'm not volunteering to keep a list. <laughs> <laughs> Shriker, what are we going to do without you when you leave us? Well, you'll have to figure something out. <laughs> We're going to have to figure something out, he said. We're going to have to figure something out. And this one, just, just, this one I'm just going to throw in. It's a 1953, but it's a mess. But I'm going to throw it in anyway. All right, you guys. So that's what so that's what you have to do. You well, some people are on their phones, though, so it's hard to tag. Like, I usually watch on my phone. Yeah, but I think if they still put the at sign Shriker, it still gets highlighted. Yeah, it doesn't highlight him though. Oh, it, it doesn't. You, no. you don't. You don't even have to use the at sign. You can just type out my full name, and it'll still highlight. No, it won't. Not on your phone. Oh, on the phone it won't. Okay. Nope, on your phone it won't. No, but if he's watching on the somebody who's on their phone right now, if you do at Shriker twenty, Shriker can still see it on his laptop Should or his desktop. To. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I think it would be I mean, I think it's a brilliant idea. Great, James. Thanks for the for the for the uh, encouragement. I think it's a great idea to use Shriker's name, but I think it's an even better idea to see T's name in the chat. Yeah. You know, so so the people that are over there will see auctions for you. And you can't write T unless she finally changes her YouTube name, which I've been telling her for a year to put the word, to put her name, T-E-E, -E, auctions for you, and she hasn't done it. You're going to do it before the, before he, the marathon? Is there a reason? If you guys why want me to, I will. Yeah, there... Jim, I can see it. No, because because she'll go and Karen and, and Julie and Heather. Yep, I see him fine. They're doing it on their phone. Yeah, you can tell. Well, they're, they're using the at sign. They're not just typing the name, but oh, and is it's is it highlighting for you? Yeah, on the phone. Yep. All right, I gotta try this. to so just put the at sign. Let's see. Oh, I'm on my channel. I don't think I can do it unless I switch accounts and go to my other. It's just too much work. I'm not going to try it. She is known by her name. Which one? Janine T or auctions for you? Nicole, are you doing that on your phone? And it's coming up highlighted yellow on your end, Shriker? Yeah. I can see Nicole and Jim, Osma, yeah, Ronnie, Julie, Jim. But did you guys, it did not, I didn't think it worked on the phone. Me neither. Cherie, did you do yours on the phone? It does, it, it does on a phone and I never use a at sign. Bobo buddies, let's see. Oh, there's pirate, pirate. Oh no. Oh my God, <laughs> we got caught. Pirates everywhere. We got caught. Lurker, him. Mike, you're a lurker, pirate. Dun, dun, dun. Pirate, we weren't talking about anything. We weren't talking about anything at all. Hi, pirate. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you, Mike? Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Mike's going to be going live tomorrow on his channel telling people to put a code word. 
<laughs> for him. Oh, nothing. You miss nothing. Nothing at all. It's just nice to be here. Pirates, so nice to see you. Can't wait till Wednesday. Yeah, no, you didn't miss anything. It was just nice of you to just, you know, pop in unexpectedly <laughs> to say hello. It's always a pleasure to see you. You know that, <laughs> pirate. <laughs> pirate, do you want to know how many lots I've done so far? I've been on for two hours. Pirate, I miss coming into your chat and giving you a hard time. I don't have time these days to go anywhere. Kyle, hush it, Kyle. <laughs> Bolo busted. Good thing good thing pirates don't know how to rewind the live. Kyle, you know what? KJ's at 36. He's a shit stirrer, that Mr. Kyle Elliott. Uh, Sheree. KJ's at 40. Uh, Sheree, you didn't spell it right. That's why I didn't see it. Kyle! T, that's okay, T. T, we're, we're soul sisters now, T. It's you and me, T. Kyle, stifle! Stifle it! Jeez. Kyle. What a troublemaker he is. That's it. Shred all of his... Give certificates. <laughs> All right, we're going to call it to KJ. KJ at 40. All right. Awesome. Thank you, KJ. And Shri, you got to use the whole name too, not just part of it. Cafe. This is sealed, guys, so I am not going to open it. There you got it, Sheree. Are you just doing the one or more? God, the is so bad. I'm sorry, guys. Yep, I see you, Melanie. I don't know if it's the plastic <laughs> that's causing the issue with the camera or what. There it is. Oh, it comes and goes. There you got it. Caboose Cafe. Yeah. Tinker's Caboose Cafe. Turn at 30? Yeah. I got another one. This one we can look at. This is, it is in plastic, but the plastic's open, so I'm going to take the plastic off so you guys can see this one a little bit better. Yes, this Kyle Turan, it is. Called the Reindeer Stables Dasher and Dancer. I didn't hear you say Donner. The what? And Dick and Dixon. Maddie. Hello, Madeline. Welcome in, honey. All right. This one does definitely look like it's still all packed in there. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it out, guys. I just it, it's just easier if I don't. It causes less everything is still sealed in here, the lights, the flags, everything. 
Um, this is what it looks like again. I'm going to put this back on. If I don't disturb it, it does help keep the integrity of it, trust me. Sandra, when you do the at and use somebody's name, it highlights for them, not for you. And the second one is the reindeer stables. And we have Daniel at 35. So quick fun fact, Maddie's father and mother, Madeline Lehman, owned Harley Davidson of the Palm Beaches for years and years. They sold it, uh, I don't know how many years back, Maddie, how many years back did they sell it? Oh, I it? think I remember you telling us that, yes. Yeah. Daniel's at 45. Thank you, guys. What is the one on the bottom spells? The one on the bottom yeah. is, all right, so this one was the Reindeer Stables Dasher and Dancer, and then the one on the bottom is Tinker's Caboose Cafe. Karen comes in at 47. Again, it's it's still in its plastic, so if there's a little bit oh, of no. a glare on it. Melanie does, sorry. Hi, Glenn. Swamp is in the house. Hey, Glenn. You guys help me out with the thumbs up, please. If you haven't done so already, 91 of you here. Thank you so much. 67 thumbs up. Um, Kathy, I probably do have yarn. I just don't know if I have it like right here. I have it in my storeroom. Thank you guys. Thank you for the thumbs. See if we can get it to a hundred. Thank you, everyone. 77. Thank you. Seventy-eight and climbing. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Seventy-nine. Who's going to be number eighty? Eighty-one. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. All right, Daniel. Sal, we have Melanie at fifty-five. Eighty-three. 
Hey, Donnie. Hi, Donnie. Thanks for coming in. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, Donnie. Eighty six. Awesome. Might not be able to get to a hundred. There might not be enough people in the chat. Oh, there's plenty. There's 94, 95 watching. Uh, someone just gave me a thumbs down that's watching that asked that listened. Well, let's just add them together. Huh? We'll just add them together. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel. And one thing's for sure, I do have more of these coming in the next couple of weeks. My thumb is black, not blue. 90, I just need 10 more. Thanks, guys. 91. We're so close. All right, looks like we're going to sell it to Melanie. Oh, somebody changed their mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they changed their mind again. <laughs> 93. We're getting there. Hi, Lorraine. Thank you for coming in. 95. I see Robbie in the background. Thank you, Melanie. Congratulations. Thank you, Murray. Hello, Mr. Zuckerman. Welcome in. Hi, Wanda. Thank you, Wanda. Four more, you guys. Everyone's waiting to be number 100. We're almost there. Are they all Richie Rich? Yes. Hello, Helen. Welcome in. Woo, we're so close. Three more. Two more. There, I thought Harley would be here early. Harley, hello, hello, welcome in. Hey, Harley Handler. Uh oh, they're reversing. <laughs> Are you watching it, Tracker? Yeah. Once we hit a hundred, it'll shoot way up. Everybody wanted wants to be a hundred. So true, Anthony, right? It's gone, Mr. Turtle Trader. Are you kidding me? Food doesn't last. Harley, you missed all the Harley Davidson stuff. I just sold the last of um I sold the last of my boxed Harley Davidson. I just have some Harley Davidson uh, shirts left. That's it. It all sold. That's all I've been selling is Harley stuff all night. I'm sorry that you missed it. There was some pretty awesome stuff. Bolts of mystery. 
diamonds. No, it doesn't, Ozma. Yep. Aw. Donnie. I have some shirts left. Um, Harley, they're mostly um, mediums and smalls, I think. There might be some larges. Are these all bagged and boarded, uh, T? Not all of them, no. A lot of them are, but not everyone. Need two more thumbs up. I need one more thumbs up to hit the hundred. Ding, 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 ding. Who forgot the thumbs up? There it is. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you. 101. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And 11 thumbs down. Hello, Denali. He doesn't Shrek mind. Shrek will pass if nobody's interested. I can't believe no one's interested. That's a big pile of Richie Rich. That's all right. No worries. Maybe just no comic people here tonight. We're going to give you a 10 second countdown. Anybody want in for 30? Unless he wants to pass on it and bring it back another night. There's your bids. They're coming in. All right, I'll give you guys a count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hi, Kathy. 12, Thirteen. Yes. 14, whoopsie. Teen. <laughs> Sixteen. Oh, needs to angle down, honey. <laughs> 18, That's the question of the hour, Donnie. <laughs> Thank you, Harley. Adios, amigos. Where are you going, Mr. Zuckerman? You just got here. Where are you leaving us already? But it's Friday night. Oh, awesome tea. Yes. Just go live. Just it's gonna, do it, T. Just do yeah, it. The, the first time you do it is gonna be a little bit um scary. But once you once you get the hang of it and you start getting your following and your friends, even on the days that you feel really, really down 
and you really don't feel like going live because you just don't feel like it. You go live and your friends all will change your, your, your mood. Harry Humpstone. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. Hello, Harry. I know, right, Anthony? How miserable do you have to be to watch someone you don't like? They have a lot going on. Yeah. It's the same crowd of people. It's the same ones over and over. It's not random, trust me. It's purpose. Speaking of great lives, Harry. Heather's out. I've only caught Harry's live maybe once or twice. I just, there's just not enough hours in the day. All right, looks like we're gonna call to Susan. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, everyone who was bidding. Ain't it the truth, Ozma? Why live life like that? Yes, Ozma. But I did get 105 thumbs up. <laughs> so that's that was worth it. Oh, you're welcome, T. All right. Looks like we're going to be sold to Susan. Thank you, Susan. All right, Donna, that's my three, honey. Okay. All right, you guys, my next lot is going to be some t-shirts and I'm going to do it as a reseller lot. I was going to do them, um, individual, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to do the whole kit and caboodle. And so this one is a size small and it is Harley Davidson. It says Harley Davidson in the front and the back of it says, Regency, Harley Davidson, Jacksonville, Florida, with that awesome beach graphic on it. So there's one. This one is embroidered. It's really beautiful. It does have some hair on it. You guys, you guys know I don't have any pets here. So these were, this is the way they came. So you're going to have to wash it. And this is also Harley Davidson. And the back of it says Daytona. Daytona Beach. That's two. We're going to start this at 40, Shriker. Here's another Harley Davidson, and it's a size medium. It's the beautiful Eagle. And it's Mount McKinley. Oh my gosh, I have to keep this one. Look what it says, you guys. Denali. I didn't even know I'm keeping this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm pulling it. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Proof <laughs> that I don't look at anything I bring to auction. Proof. Look at, oh my gosh. I love it. I love this. Who sews in the chat? Was it Mary Pisano? Mary, if I send this to you, will you make me a pillow? Is she here? Oh my gosh, I love it. No, I'm not dropping the price. Isn't it so awesome? Oh my gosh, yes, I want to have a pillow made out of it. I think that that would make such an awesome pillow. I think it was Mary Pisano's the one that sews. Yes, Mary, can I mail this to you? Will you make me a pillow? I would love a pillow made out of this. Oh, I'm so excited. My gift for the night. <laughs> so excited. All right, I'm going to put that there. All right, let's go back to the pile. I had no idea. Thank you, Mary. Okay, this one is a purple Harley Davidson. 
the Harley Davidson motorcycle. And this one is Cassie, South Carolina. This one is another Alaska one. Alaska legends live where legends roam. And it's Janu, Alaska, Harley Davidson. That is so cool. Look at that. That is very, very cool. Okay. And this one is another Harley Davidson. And it's Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. So you get one, two, three, four, five, and let me add one more for the one that I took out. This awesome one. Six. So you get six of them. All right. And Elsie's the high bid at 40. <clears throat> Anyone else? Six shirts total. I thought you were blowing them all out. I am. Lots, I, I did, just did a lot of six, and I'm going to do, I, I think I might have six more. I'm not sure. I have to look. But I want to give, you know, everybody the opportunity to bid. going twice. Thank you, Mr. Turtle Trader. Fair warning. And we are sold, 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 sold to LC. Thank you, LC. That was lot number nine. Awesome. Okay. Here is my next lot. Let's see if I can remove this sticker so that you can see who this is. I guess it doesn't matter. Jane, it's, uh, I didn't get a text message from you. Destroyer Droid. So um, $30 to start on this lot. There's one. Two. Three, four. Oh, thanks for asking, Mr. Turtle Trader. He's good. Thank you. T, you're not on mute. I know. I'm talking to Mr. Turtle Trader. Oh, okay. You sound like you're really far away, like you're talking to someone else. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, 
T got knocked out again. Yeah. Nine. Every time I unplug that microphone, it must knock me out. Okay. Sorry. Oh, that's nine. Yes, Janine, that's correct. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Christopher Chatworth, what's going on? I bought chit. Thirteen. Hi, Christopher. Fourteen. And fifteen. Fifteen total. Now, can you check the back for a date on one of them? Yeah. Which one? Anyone? Yeah, they all, they all look about the same age. 1998. Nineteen ninety eight. Nineteen ninety nine, Jabby. Jabby's right. Probably ninety eight and ninety nine. Christopher, it's so nice to see you back in the chat, honey. I'm glad that you're feeling better. You guys, you need to send all your love and prayers to Larry M, please. Lindsay's at 50. Thank you, Lindsay. Lindsay asked me for Star Wars stuff a long, long time ago. All right. Sold, sold, sold. Okay, let me just put these in a quick bucket. I'll just be a moment. is still in the chat but he was asking for 
some movies. So I'll show you what I have here for movies. And I haven't checked these. So I will have to check them. I have Rambo 3. Okay, and that's in there. And then this is a PlayStation game in a wrong case. Five feet apart. And it's in there. Are they all DVDs, no Blu-rays? Um, I don't know. I just, whenever I find movies, they just get put in this bucket. So I'm kind of looking at them at the same time as you guys are right now. Home Alone, it's in there. Band of Brothers, Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg. They're all in there. Hunger Games, two disc set. The Divergent, Diver, Div, Divergent series. Divergent. It's brand new. Pirates of the Caribbean. One and two, they're both in there. Jurassic Park. This one's Blu-ray. Don't show that code. <laughs> Don't show the code? No. Nope. Why, what does the code do? Well, it gives you a free digital movie online. That movie, anyway. This one is the Laugh Out Loud 3 Movie Collection. Aladega Nights. White Chicks. Source of Code. see what these are. These are Army Wives, Army Wives again, Army Wives, Smallville. Yeah, Dexter. maybe Janine, but maybe not. Dexter, Dexter 1, Dexter 2, Dexter 3, and Dexter 4. Extra four again. I mean, I don't use any of my codes, so whoever buys them has Smallville. a good chance. Smallville again. Dexter three, Dexter one on those. This one, oh, this is an antivirus. <laughs> this is a empty box. Needs to go in the trash. Hobbs and Shaw. It's empty. It's empty, but just I'll include it for whoever buys this lot in case you have one that you want to. This actually was Denali's favorite robots. I just never, never got into it, Kyle. He loved this movie. I like the hard copies. Accepted. It's in there. Space Jam, it's um, sealed. The Vow, it's in there. Ben Stiller. <laughs> but Zoolander is inside of it. I sometimes do sell them, Kyle. Or sometimes I give them to friends. Notebook. 
Hotel Transvo uh, Transylvania. It's sealed. Beauty and the Beast. Blu-ray. Good one. It's got the sleeve even. I don't know how to open it. It's got a little clasp. Yeah. Oh, it's no. empty. It looks like it's got the digital or the DVD on the other side there, doesn't it? Okay, but it's empty so that you guys know. This one is empty. Somebody buys it, you'll know. Alice in Wonderland. It's in there. Night at the Museum. It's in there. Here's a Pirates of the Caribbean. And it's in there. Chicken Little. <laughs> And something called Heat is in it, not Chicken Little. No, that definitely is not. The Cat in the Hat. And it's in there. And rum Rumble Still Stillskin. And it's in there. Okay. That's a total of one, two, three, four, five. I think there was... Maybe three that were empty. Three, two or three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. And 25, 26, and then the Band of Brothers, 27, minus at least two, so 25 plus however many are in there. There's quite a bit in there. Is there any interest? Oh, Janine says pass. Why didn't you tell me they were passing? Well, other people buy movies, not just Janine. Oh, it's yeah. a good lot. Somebody should buy it. $30 shipped if anybody wants it i know craig was asking for it but he probably went to bed he might have but we don't know frank comes in at 30. big mama came in first oh hey big mama didn't see you there thanks ozma there's some good value there so hey karen Thank you, Frank. Karen's at 37. Thank you, Karen. Thanks, Nicole. I thought we'd find a bidder or two by the time you got done. Thank you, Frank. Karen's at 42. Frank comes in at 45. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Karen. Forty-seven to Karen. Thank you, Frank. Fifty to Frank. Thank you, Karen. You guys are such a great support. Really appreciate you very, very much. Good night, Daniel. Thank you for coming in. Good night, Daniel.
That was lot number 11. Movies. You guys don't forget about um, Courtney. Bolo Buddies is having that challenge. You can... Um, it's, I don't even know how she's going to do it. It's so much work. Courtney, you know what? I, I just can't even believe that you... Uh, that you take on such huge tasks. She's going to be promoting people's channels. People can... Um, well, go to her channel and she's got a, Courtney, you can drop the link to it if you want in the chat, tell people what it's all about. They can go watch it after the show. Okay. T you ready? Yes, ma'am. Did she say yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Cocoa powder. Are we baking? <laughs> yeah. So it's a it's a vintage, the Borden Company. I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know, but I'm gonna include what's in the tin as well. Thank you, Shriker. So you get the tin and what's in the tin. What in the world? Marbles? Yeah, wooden ones and glass ones and wooden ones? ones and stones. I don't even know. But whatever's in here. Are those wooden marbles? Yeah. Some of them are. Yep. This thing is so heavy. I don't even know what this thing is. This is like, I don't even know. That's where my marbles went. Right? That's my marbles a long time ago. Yeah, I lost my marbles a long time ago. It's okay. They're still looking for them. Those are old. Greg, I just did a lot of movies, and were you here, or did you just come back in? I brought them just for you, buddy. It was a nice lot. Frank bought it. I hope he's not lagging. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you see it? Uh, see, Mary, that's what I was thinking too. A lot of those look like clay, not wood. Oh yes, they probably are. Mary, you're right. Mary, you are hundred percent right. I wasn't going to say it because you were standing there looking at them. So Right. You know what? Because, yeah, you're right. That's what they are. And that's why I didn't hesitate to start it at 30 because if they're clay. Yeah, they're clay. You're right. You're oh, right. no. He fell asleep. Oh, I was trying to wake you up. Uh, well, I have some CDs, Craig, if you're interested coming up. No, he likes movies. I know he likes movies. I don't have any movies tonight. I'm sorry. And that was a great lot. I mean, yay for, yay for Frank, and thank you, Frank. Frank's like, yeah, yeah. Well, I want to <laughs> for a clock. I guess it could be. It's really heavy. It's really heavy, Frank. I don't even know, but it was in with all of these, so we'll throw it in there. I mean, this is this is just a clay one, but so you might take that cast iron one out so it doesn't damage some of the others. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's not really a marble; it's something else. But yeah, I don't know why it's in here. To be honest with you, because that could mash up the clay ones pretty bad if they got okay. to move them. Although this is this is a regular one. This this is this is a, what do they call those? A shooter. It's definitely got some some wear to it on the shooter. And then of course you get the really cool Borden's cocoa cocoa powder container. I will put these in bubble inside the container in a bag and the whole thing, wrap them really well.
That I do not know, Sandra. I bet Google could tell you. Oh, really? That's interesting. I like the color of this one. Well, I'm partial to green, that's why. <laughs> I'm partial to green, that's why. Scrap one there on the bottom, bottom left. What, honey? They want to see that striped one on the bottom left. Striped one on the left. This one here? Yeah. Looks nice. Got a flat spot, just FYI. It got hit too hard. Right there. Whoops. Right there. They've definitely been played with. Oh, that's all right, Craig. We definitely just wanted you to know, Donna, you know, we try to bring, when you guys ask us for something, we definitely try to bring it, you know? So we just don't want you to think we're forgetting about you. We'll get you next time. We're going to call it the Heather.
All right, awesome. We're going to be sold to Heather. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, everyone who is bidding. Appreciate it. All right, Heather MC for 70. So I have some CDs. Not like a ton of ton, but I will tell you that there is a very funky mix here. And I'm actually going to include a, a sleeve of them. And some of them look like you may or may not have cases for. All right, here's Credence CCR. Here's Corn. The genre are all over the place. Ben Harper's and Restless. It's in here. I checked. This one is Sealed, Mitch Miller, 16 Most Requested Songs. Ray Conniff, Sealed, Memories Are Made of This. Frank Sinatra, 16 Most Requested Songs. Again, Sealed. The Best of Nat King Cole, Sealed. Tony Bennett, Sealed. Patty Page, Greatest Songs, Sealed. Helen Reddy, Sealed. This is, um, who is this? I don't remember. Oh. I don't know, maybe Johnny Cash. Yeah, Johnny Cash. Empty case. This is Allison Chain's Empty Case. This is a book to Uncle Cracker. This is the bottom of Uncle Cracker. And this is an empty kid rock. But let me show you why I'm going to put these in here. Okay, because... What I also have is this case that looks like whoever put the music in this case also, they loved Kid Rock, by the way. There's a ton of Kid Rock in here. Put a bunch of books in here. Kid Rock, Kid Rock, some music lyrics, Uncle Cracker, Encore, Ben Harper, Metallica, The Hard and Heavy, Kid Rock, Kid Rock. Steve Earl, Tiny Music, not sure who that is, Bush, this is, I know this logo, who is this, this is Harper, and this is Harper again, so all of these books were in the front of this case here. And then I'm going to include the case. So you, some of these empty um, ones, including like the Kid Rock and the Alice in Chains, they're in this. They're in this thing. Now there are some homemade ones in here as well, but I'm just going to include all of it. And there's um, a bunch of empty spots at the end where if you have your own, you can probably add. All right, Steve Mailer Bands. Marilyn Manson. Some homemade stuff. Although this one isn't. This is uh, Ben Harper. Steve Earle. Like you have the book in there for that. This is. Oh, it's actually flipped on the other side. Not sure who that is. 1987. I should know. ACDC Live, Billy Joel, Tom Petty, Eagle Eye Cherry, Matchbox 20. Encore, Bon Jovi, Tupac, 
LL Cool J. Corn. Kid Rock. I recognize the logo. I'm just not sure. I don't remember. The Heavy, the Hard. Uncle Cracker. Corn again. Kid Rock, Kid Rock, Billy Joel's Greatest Hits, Stone Temple Pilots, Bush, Led Zeppelin, Ben Hopper, and then we go to Ray Charles. <laughs> One, two, three, Ray Charles. Um, I don't know. This looks it's very familiar. Can't tell you who it is, but it looks very familiar. Four. Four discs there. Evil. Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against the Machine. Uh, Pearl Jam. Ben Harper. And then I think the rest. Oh, let's see. Then there's Kid Rock, Kid Rock, Kid Rock. And then the rest you can fill in the blanks. So that's what you got there. And that's why I'm including a couple of these empty ones because those... CDs look to be in here. And then again, everything in this pile is is brand new sealed. So that's what you guys get. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know, Javi. I don't know about that one. All right, we're going to sell it to Craig. I know Craig appreciates his movies and his music. All right, let's sell it to Craig. Wide variety of stuff there. boxes and since Donna made this a Holly Davidson theme evening <laughs> you're very welcome Craig appreciate it all right we've got one two three four and five 1993 Holly, Holly Davidson collection card boxes we have five of those where do you want to start this at? Um, let's start this at 30. I'm going to put quite a few in here. Christine, I never have come come across Real to Real. Have you, T? Yes. So I have some in the other room. Um, 1990. I think I may have brought them one night and there was no interest. And KJ told me he'd take them all and I sold them all to KJ. Shriker, uh, do you have anything that you want to sell tonight? I didn't even ask you. Oh, yeah, Shriker. No, not tonight. Maybe Sunday or something. All right, this is uh, 1993 Skybox Marvel Universe tra trading card box. This is 1993 Star Wars Galaxy. This is... 1995 Avengers trading card box. These are all bagged and boarded. If anyone cares. Amazing. This is the X Files Series 1 Tops 1995. Here's another Star Wars Galaxy. Actually, let's keep these together. I think. Oh, this is actually a little bit of a different color cover because the, here's another one and this is boris adult oriented collector cards how um, do you say his last name boris karloff oh is that karloff okay <laughs> i thought it was the uh, the fantasy artist oh no it's boris vallejo yeah 
The only Boris I, I knew was Karloff, but no, this is Boris Vallejo, 1992. Yeah, that's who I was thinking, Vallejo. That's the fantasy artist. This is Marvel Universe 1991. Oh, God. Now Craig's going to start with the shower thing. Oh, God, <laughs> Craig. He's, got, he's following in KJ's footsteps. He is another Marvel. He is another Marvel Universe. <laughs> At least, at least we know that our men that come to the auction are clean, right? Oh, he says it helps his back. His back. Uh, Nineteen ninety-one. Don Barry, Juan. thrifty Santa's in the chat. Hey, Barry, how are you, honey? Hey, Barry, welcome in. Long time no see, pal. You missed our Christmas in July marathon. He's just now waking up for December, getting ready. Oh, yes. Getting He's ready getting for ready. fourth quarter. Oh, that's good, Ozma. Here's another one of these. Let's put them together so we kind of have all of the same. This is actually another one of these. Oh, I think I did some of these too. The X Files. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another Star Trek Voyager. I think there was. It would have been nice to have you, Barry. Just the boxes only, Donnie. Yeah, just the boxes, for whatever reason, there was some resale value in these guys, so look them up. I don't know. Oh, yes. Yeah. If you found one of the early Star Wars ones, you'd be doing good from the 80s. Yeah, this All right. So that's what we got. I think that's all we're out. Yeah. Was there any good content, KJ? Did you watch them all? He couldn't have. There was too many of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let me count them for you. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mr. Primetime Treasure Hunters in the house. Hello, Dominic. 24, 25. Oh, how fun. 26, That's awesome, Dom. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 altogether. Did you find anything cool? Hey, Dominic. Tons he wrote. Awesome. We'll make some good content for your channel. Yeah, guys, don't forget, come see me on Dominic's channel, Against Pirate, Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Yes, come see Sweet Tea, remember? <laughs> wink, wink. Sweet Tea. Code Karen, word. you sell them, sweetheart. <laughs> Code word Sweet Tea. Don't forget.
You better hope I make it back to South Carolina, Dominic. Right now, Brian and his wife are in my house, and they their house fell through. <laughs> so. It's a cage match. We're going to bring in some music for it, special music. Oh, Don gets on his mic. He can be the announcer. He, he mean, likes all different Believe sounds. me, Prime Time. I have stuff here. It's just I had some really special stuff put aside at home. If I have to make it work here, it's all right. I just bought a tremendous collection for like 20K. So it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. We'll make it happen. I have the tiger. Yeah, that would that would work. Yes, Karen. Um, Striker did drop the uh, link in the chat, but we could go ahead and drop it again. Oh, can we? Oh, Dominic, don't worry. I'll be there. I'm not canceling. It's just whether or not I'm here on Long Island or I'm back in South Carolina. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. I haven't seen all the challenges, unfortunately, but I do have to say the one between Courtney and I was pretty epic. <laughs> legs. Legs. That's all right? I can remember. Well, the legs and the glass, the green glass. The yeah. Uranium the leg, the leg was priceless, though. The leg was definitely priceless. She comes out with a leg. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dom. We did get a, am not an Amber alert, but those alerts that come across on the phone, like, you know, this is the emergency broadcast system. I don't know how bad it'll be. Nothing can ever top Superstorm Sandy. If you if we live through that, we can live through anything. All right. We're sold to Donnie for 36. Congratulations, Donnie. Thank you. Were you there, Ozma? Did you see that episode? That was so funny. All right, Donna, that's my three, sweetheart. Okay, I just I just want to know before I show this lot, is Courtney from Bolo Buddies in the chat or did she go to bed? She was here not long ago. Courtney, did you go to bed? I think I'm I think I'm in the clear. Okay. Asma. All right. Don't judge me, guys. You know I get things out of storage units, so don't judge me. <laughs> All right. This is what I have. It's a reseller lot. There's a lot of them. They're all new, of course. Thanks for watching. <laughs> No, Karen, it's not on Pirates Channel. It's on Dom's no, Channel. No, Karen. Karen, how dare you? No. Sweet tea. Come over to Dominic. Sweet tea. That's the vote. <laughs> okay, I'm going to count them, and I'm going to show you what I have. They're fishnet body suits. <laughs> you guys, they're fishnet body suits. This show is no longer PG. All right, so there's one extra large, right? Black and white. There's black ones and there's white ones. And there's one, two, three. Juice, four. welcome in. <laughs> Joyce is like, oh my. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You'll sell these to Vegas uh, people, I think. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, hey, Jay. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, they all appear to be extra large. 24, 25. Beaver, $30, Beaver. 27, 28, 
29 and 30. There's 30 of them. I only have to lose a few pounds to fit into these. They at least fit my height. <laughs> 30 total packages. 30, oh, 31. 31. Hey, wheels and deals. <laughs> Geez, Scott's like, I'm definitely judging. <laughs> wheels and deals is like, what? I'll tell you what, if I was a 100 pounds heavier, I would definitely wear these. <laughs> <laughs> Wheels and Deals is like, what? She goes from making nice homemade pasta sauce to this. What's going on? Uh, yes, that's that's a that's a positive wheels and deals. <laughs> <laughs> no takers Pam Henry's in for 30 <laughs> Pam thank you I see some XL's anything else in there they're all it looks XL. like they fit 5 oh, to 510 and up to 165 pounds yes Anthony not that I was paying attention Anthony don't you think these will sell nice in your booth I bet they'll sell nice on eBay yeah, Beaver, they won't fit you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> now, now Barry's going to get all these pop-ups on his computer, and Mrs. Oh, Smith is going to be imagine? like, oh, no. Can you imagine? <clears throat> All right. Anyone else? Are we going to give them to Pam? KJ. I think so. Yeah. Yes, I mean, they're Nicole. brand new. Absolutely, 100%. Nicole. It's a nice, easy list. You list one. Actually, there's two colors, but they're uh, two colors, but all the same thing. So make two listings and do quantity. <laughs> Are you going to do any more Star Wars tonight, Donna? Um, I could. Who's asking? Oh, I've seen it a couple of times in chat. Right. If there's who else was bidding? Pam. Pam's out. Okay. Beaver's unit's going to take them. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> I have um, some really, I have a huge case. I probably won't bring them tonight. I need to sort through them, but I have uh, absolutely beautiful ladies' panties. Oh, great, Beaver. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> sold, sold, sold to Beaver's unit. Thank you, Beaver. I'll sort through all of the panties and bring them another night. Um, I'll try to do like assorted blocks. I, I literally have, oh my gosh, probably 500 pairs. They're all brand new, but they're all like super, super sexy. Um, let me just show a couple of the pairs. And if anybody wants to order, I'm just gonna grab If anybody wants to order a mystery lot of this stuff, I could do 
oh, I don't know, maybe how about if I do like 30 pieces for $30? Um, but it's like, for example, I mean, some of them aren't, some of them aren't so, so risque. Let's see if they say a name on them. They're Chinese. They're all Chinese. The elastic is good on them. They just say underwear on them. They don't say anything else. And how might you know that, Kyle Elliott? Asking um, for a friend. Look at how cute this pair is. This is adorable. Little red, white, and blue number. And hey, I Gary. I have a hi, Gary. This one, I have no idea what this is. So I would do 30 pieces for $30. And you guys, underwear is like super, super expensive. I can tell you. Oh, so this is like a two piece little shorts. So I guess there's different things. I mean, I don't even know. It's like a little pair of shorts and a little dime. Hi, dime. The poor flag. And then um and then there's like I, I have no idea. Like look at this. So they're all sealed. Yeah, there's just a lot of strings. <laughs> there's a lot of strings here. There's a lot of strings going on. I guess this is the underwear. Are there any sizes on these things? What? Are there any sizes on these things? I think just small. This is two pairs of underwear. See, even Pam Henry's asking. Hold on. They're all small, you guys. This is like... All right. So this is... All right. Let me put myself on. God. Look at our numbers went up. <laughs> So this is like, this is a little bra and like the titties show out. Okay. I don't think that's going to fit us. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> and then this is, look at Sandra Killian. She's like, what size are they? <laughs> and then this is just like, this is a pair of underwear, believe it or not. It is a pair of underwear. So. Yeah, me too, Juice. I'm completely, completely confused now. <laughs> Sorry, Joyce. I know. Oh, what a time for Chris the Goose to come. Hey, Chris. Goose. <laughs> Goose, you You're want not buying these cuckoos. Goose, you want 30 of them? <laughs> they're not titties, they're ninnies. <laughs> John is like, no! <laughs> So 30, so you get 30 pieces. Some pieces have two pieces. Whoops. Like this one, like this one has, this one has, um, the little boy. See, can I get it that in a hefty bag size? See, I'd wear that. What? What? I said, can I get that in a hefty bag size? <laughs> and then here's the bra. So some of them, I guess, are two pieces but i mean look yeah, at but that them, ain't gonna work <laughs> these are adorable those would definitely sell and then look at this this look so cute who wouldn't want to wear a cat <laughs> who wouldn't want to wear a cat on the front of their underwear Shriker sitting way back, you guys, just so that you know. Oh, God. He's sitting way back. He's like, no. Elizabeth! <laughs> Elizabeth? She changed her name. JJ! Elizabeth, you need these. <laughs> All right. 
So, anybody interested? 30 pairs for $30 shipped. Yeah, no beaver's unit. Absolutely not. Anybody? Anybody? 30 pieces for $30. They're, I think they're all small. I think they're all like, I, I didn't check all the sizes. I have a like 35 gallon tote full of them. Don't fight over them, you guys. Don't fight. Greg, you're Pam Henry wants one. Shower. Pam says she'll take one lot. All right, Pam, you got it. Lot number 13. Pam Henry. Julie. <laughs> We'll call them undies. I want the strings. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it will be just an assortment of just different ones. Extra small or small. It's just an assortment. It's just a just an assortment. They're all, from what I can see, they're all like smalls and extra smalls. So I'm going to go put these back in the bin. I'll take a I'll take a quick look, but I think I haven't even I haven't even looked at them. Yeah, they all appear to be like smalls and extra smalls on them. Just little tiny, cute. This one, it doesn't even have the size in English, so you might have to uh, know wheels and deals. They're not used. They're brand new. They're brand new in the package. Let's see what this is. Yeah, but oh. he's insinuating used is better. <laughs> oh, so this is like a bodysuit. This is a real pretty lacy. I think I lost that in the 80s. <laughs> That's a really, and the lace feels very nice. There's a bodysuit. This must be another bodysuit. We'll open one more and see. I'm opening these for the first time with you guys right now. Speak for yourself, KJ. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is another one of those. Um, this is another one of those. Um, there's an alarm going off in here with the little titties and the little underwear, like barely like no lingerie. Okay. Uh, anybody else? No. Do you want me to reduce the price? I want to sell them. What do you think? Nobody else yeah. wants to sell them, or do you think it's how many can you fit in a flat rate box? Oh my god, probably a hundred. <laughs> They're tiny. They're itty bitty, itty bitty, tiny, tiny. No, but remember when I bought the hooker unit? Hi, Mr. Tasman. No, Karen, it hasn't. But you know what? I have to like you know, sell what I find. Sometimes you just got to spice it up. Yeah, that's all. Okay, so I did 30 for 30. How about if I do 50 for 30? And Pam says you can hold hers until she gets more. Um, Pam, I've got stuff coming out to you. So I'm going to do 50 pieces, Pam. I'm going to do 50 pieces for, for $30. Does anybody want them? Susan Arrington. Susan, you want them? Okay, 50 pieces 
$30, Susan Arrington. Anybody else? I gotta go see where this is coming from. Mary Pisano. Chris the Goose. <laughs> no, I'm not KJ. <laughs> Anyway, you'd enjoy it too much. <laughs> oh, did I just go there? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Are we good? Uh, you got uh, Chris the Goose and Susan Arrington. 50 pieces, $30. And Mary Pisano. Chris the Goose. It'll be a nice, quick, easy ship for me. <laughs> All right. They want to be careful with using quickie and easy in this slot. Hi, Maria in real life. Welcome in. Hey, Maria. Oh. <laughs> the sex meter was up at Donna's house. Yeah, they're barely underwear. It's true. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's do another Star Wars lot. Let's do this came disconnected from that, but it's a Comtech reader. Oops, sorry. Comtech reader. So $30 start. So you'll get that. You just have to glue that back on. You'll get this. This CP three O Darth Maul. Is that like Darth Vader? Let me just adjust this a minute. This guy, Battle Droid. I'll just move this. Get you a better shot. There. Oh, you're very welcome, Charlene Anderson. Welcome in. What's that? We have Charlene Anderson in the chat. She says we're making her feel very good. Oh, good. Yoda. Newt. Gunray. Whoever that is. Ladies' names. Why is Elizabeth saying oi? Oi, vey. Boss Nas. Oh, Elizabeth changed her name to Elizabeth. I saw that. I said it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Oh no, Ronnie, for what, sweetheart? 
14. And 15. 15 pieces total. Donnie, I don't have it here, honey. I will bring it, I promise. But I don't have it here now. Very limited at the moment. All in excellent condition. Lindsay Ann is at 40. Thank you, Lindsay. Thanks for coming back, Beaver. Thanks for staying, Ronnie. We love you guys. We think you guys are all great. Yeah, thanks for you guys all coming in. We appreciate it. Okay. Should we close it? Anybody else? Is Goose out? He hasn't said anything yet. Oh, no, Ronnie. I'm sorry, honey. Marilyn Bland, I didn't see you sneak in. All right. Chris is out. Lindsay Ann's going to take this pile for, was it 45? 40. 40. Awesome. Okay, T. Are you going to put yourself on the screen? Oh, God, I'm getting an extreme level of Congratulations, Lindsay Ann. Thank you, honey. I don't know what she's doing. No, no, I, I'm going to put myself there. Smoke and deal. <laughs> I was I was watching I keep getting these extreme weather alerts like the the you know Oh you guys there's a new um there's a new scam going around they send you a message saying that you overpaid your um they overpaid your you overpaid your telephone bill don't click on the link it's a, it's a brand new scam it says, sorry, we overcharged you for your, um, for your phone bill. Mine came, they know, they know my name and whoops, they know my name and they know that I have AT&T. See, look at, it says yeah. AT&T free messaging. We accidentally overcharged your phone bill last month, please please your reimbursement here and then that's the number and do you have at&t i do for your phone service or yep. just your internet both oh i don't know yeah so be careful us zero one lv Yep. It's a new scam that's going around. My son told me about it and I got it. So don't click on anything. And honestly, you probably shouldn't even be calling that number back. Switch your microphone. Oh. I'm actually going to click on it because I have an iPhone and I can't get bugs, but let's see what it says. But when I click you know on what? It. Sometimes, hey, Rebecca, them flipping cruders, welcome in. Hi, Rebecca. Um, 
you probably shouldn't even be clicking it because, you know, even when you click on an email and things like that, that confirms that that's a viable email address and they just sell the hell out of it. The same thing with your phone number. I know. It's true. I know, Donnie. Exactly. Right, Donnie? True. <laughs> exactly, Donnie. Yeah, don't click on anything, right, Gary? No. <clears throat> All right, so you guys. You're, you're getting you. warnings for storms. We're having storms. Uh, Are you? I think there's a storm brewing in the um in the ocean towards us too. I'm not 100 percent sure. I think I saw someone post something on my Facebook. All right. So tomorrow's schedule is unsure. T's got the shower. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a volleyball game, but I probably won't go. I need to get caught up on the shipping. So um, I don't know if we'll see you tomorrow. We may not. We may see you on Sunday. T, what's your plans on Sunday? Um, well, if we get the truck, I'm going to be all day loading that storage yeah, unit. So but we T can come on late night. We'll see. I, again, we'll play it all by ear. I might no, get you're going to be too tired. I might get stuck here a day or two. I don't even know. Like, you know, I'm joking about the whole pirate and... and um, Dominic thing, but I might have to make do with what I have here because if the weather is as bad as they say it's going to be Sunday and Monday, I may not, I don't know, you know, so it is what it is. And it's Wednesday night that you're going on a show? It is. So I don't want to be driving home on Wednesday to go on Wednesday night. So we may just have to hang. And you know what? Brian will only be too happy because him and Kim will get the house for another couple of days until they figure out what they're doing. Exactly. So. All right, you guys. Thank you so much, Stryker. Thank you so much for being here, helping us as usual. You're a great Thanks, help. Um, <clears throat> and you guys, we uh, just just be, you know, just watch for notifications. That's all. And uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do this weekend. We're Thanks, still kind Rebecca. of up in Thanks, the air. Honey. All right. Good night. Bye, guys. Thank you.